Yo, and what is going on YouTube, and welcome back for another FIFA 17 player review where we take an in-depth look at the 86 rated man of the match, Lars Stindl. If you guys have been enjoying the reviews, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you've not already. Also guys, if there are any players you'd like to see on the channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. But let's take a look at his overall record for me. Now I picked this card up for around 41,000 coins on the Xbox, and he played 6 games for me, scoring 4 goals with 2 assists. But I also hit the post a handful of times again. Now I applied the Catalyst Chem style to him to increase his pace and passing. But guys, let's jump in to his in-game stats. He's got 91 positioning, 90 finishing, 92 shot power, 88 long shots, 89 ball control, 90 short passing, 89 stamina. He doesn't have any traits or specialities, but paired with those medium medium work rates, the 3 star skills, and a 4 star weak foot guys. Alright guys, now the first pro we have today for the man of the match Stindl is going to be his playmaking ability guys. And he was absolutely awesome for me in setting up all of my attacks. Whether it was through his passes or getting the shot off himself, he was the absolute focal point for me going forward. What makes him so competent at Cam is his incredible vision and passing guys. He was able to pick out passes from absolutely anywhere it seemed. Over the top, through balls, driven passes, whatever you like, he is going to dictate the play. Now, my second pro for Stindl is his shooting ability, guys, and he is absolutely deadly. Now, I know I scored only four shots from me, but had a load of chances and was denied by some incredible goalkeeping. I think on another day, it could have been eight or nine goals. His 90 finishing, 92 shot power with his right foot is simply remarkable, guys, and I can't say enough good things about his long shots either. That's why I'd say he'd even make a hell of a center midfielder, because he can just smash the ball from absolutely anywhere, and it's bound to result in goals. Now, his four-star weak foot gave me absolutely no troubles, and it felt great for shooting and passing. Now his third pro, despite the lack of 4 star skills guys, is his dribbling and ball control. He keeps the ball so damn close to his body and with that 76 strength, defenders really seem to just have a heck of a time getting the ball off of him. Another pro about this card, and it, and it goes a long way for me this FIFA, and it's part of his physical, it was his stamina. Now he was just able to last the full 90 minutes for me, and I just think it, in the eyes of this FIFA, it's just such a huge pro to not have to sub players off. Now this card was a lot of fun to use and it was actually quite refreshing to just use something different for once in a while, but he does come with a couple of cons. The first would be his overall pace. Now with the overall sprint speed, he was just kinda quite slow and he wasn't able to chase down through balls for me compared to other cams in this game. Now his second con would be his lack of skills. I've said it many times. 4 star skills is just such a useful thing for cams this year. This makes him extremely evasive and gives you just plenty of options for creativity. Now since this card costs around 48,000 coins on the Xbox at this moment in time, do I think he's worth the coins guys? Honestly, I think he's an absolute steal for this price. If you're able to use a cam that lacks 4 star skills and he's not extremely pacey, he has absolutely everything else in his locker that you would need and frankly he'd actually make a hell of a center midfielder as well. He has great links between the Bundesliga and German players so I would strongly recommend giving him a run. Now that does bring us to a close on our review of the 86 rated man of the match Lars Sindel guys. If you have any players you'd like for me to review in the future make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll make my way through them. And as always guys thanks for stopping by if you haven't already make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because what else are you going to do? Now check you guys later.